Today on Drawbly, we are looking at the art of Nim. Nim. I, I'm not exactly. Click that subscribe button if you're new around here, and comment below <laughs> with ideas of what we can do to improve as artists. Share some of your art online with the hashtag Drawbly, and let's get to it. So I am seeing this for the first time. This is Nim from China. Yeah, I'm not exactly. NYM Nim. I'm not exactly sure about their name. They have not provided a <laughs> summary. They have not. Well, you know, provided social links. There is no an offense email. meant. Whatever we have. <laughs> Uh, but there is just some absolutely amazing artwork in here that I want us to take a look at. And as we do with all of our artist adventures, try to find something that we can maybe try to pull and incorporate into our own yeah. artwork or just get some general inspiration yeah. from. Yeah, okay. So here, ooh, light colors, the lighting, the little scenes, the kitty Detail. cats. Details, yes. I love their they're just very clear distinction of form in absolutely everything that they make. And you're going to see that uh, here very soon. I bet we everything could have is... read like a whole story in that little house. <laughs> it's everything that they make. We're going to get to these crabs and these other animals very soon. Oh, and maybe that's why. Maybe they paint over 3D objects. They did list ZBrush in their areas of expertise. Ah, oh, that, well, hold on. Oh, there's a sketch though. So maybe they create the 3D and then they sketch over top of it. Oh. And that really helps get the perspective and down. And the lighting. That's very interesting. Powerful. That's very interesting. We should be powerful like that. You are going to be unstoppable. I'm going to be powerful one day. Yeah, because you can already do the modeling part and wow. you'll be able to model things and create your own scenes. Ben, you're going to be incredible. Well, like here, they might have done some kind of 3D that they sketched over, but they, they don't show this it. This one doesn't you know, look this, like they did. This looks really cool. It does. Here's very some, cool. A very cool boar. And a, a wild bull rides, a rider guards the forest. Yes, look at where they want you to focus on. Where is it? Um, obviously the face of this Wee. boar. Because look at the other ones. They're all very like, like loose. Not loose, but you know, very undetailed. Mm. So we look at the face of this boar. And a little bit we look at the rider on top. Just because of that sheen of light on her bow. But if she didn't even have that, and then we go to the next painting. We wouldn't have seen that as much. Very mm, cool. Very, very cool. I can't. Okay. Some some others. Some other. Oh, there. Ooh, two areas of focus here. This. So that thing in the I'm, background is a Gundam, by the way. Yeah, I'm starting to have my takeaway from this be um, how to choose and create areas of focus. I like that. I like that. And really well contrasted with areas of rest while still having a lot of magnitude and space. Mm. Where's the area of focus here? I think the waterfall. I think the waterfall what immediately caught my attention because there's like a lot of noise, and then in terms of shape, like this vertical really mm. caught my eye. Yeah, just definitely. because it it's, it's very so strong. contrasted against everything else. Yeah, mm. absolutely. Mm. Yeah, very strong shape here. Very very cool. Uh, art. <laughs> Where are the where are these anim animals at? Okay, here we go. Ooh. Here's this beautiful hawk, eagle, whatever. It looks like a yeah, an eagle, like a harpy eagle. Oh, a harpy eagle. I think that's what those are called with the horn like the kind of horn feather horn things. So very simple brush strokes. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm very detailed mm -hmm. up here on the beak and the eye. Mm -hmm. And then it fades back out towards the top. I like how feathers. the simple brush strokes though clearly communicate feathers. Yeah, I mean, some of that is like mostly the texture, but mm. like even if you blur your eyes, the shading in and of itself, like the splotchy shading, does mm. a really good job of that as well. Definitely. So this <gasps> Love is the, this. this crab is the thing that like caught my eye about this artist. Uh, the just like everything about this is so good. Yeah. The the framing. I know that this is kind of like a meme, putting a, a square in the background of an image or a different color block in the background of a simple character or uh -huh. animal in this case. But it's like the composition of this is really cool. Hey, there's a reason people do it. It works. The extremely strong backlight with the subsurface scattering going yeah. through the shell. I love it. Look at the shape language of the body too. It's a square. Yeah. It's got verticals. Look, I love it. Everything about it's this crab. It's so good. This crab is like my favorite. Yeah. It's Ooh, the best crab I've ever seagull. seen. Wow. That isn't, seagull is incredible. Isn't it very good? Yeah. That's actually a photo of a seagull no. that they took. 
with a camera. <laughs> wow! I love drawing animals with black fur because、mm. you just paint like the reflective surface light on them, and it looks so cool. And the way they did the eyes on this cat, incredible. Yeah. So I really like what you were saying about areas of focus because、mm-hmm. they're definitely. I, and it always feels like there's, you know, a couple. Yeah, then that one, the river really led the eye. One and, and this、two. one, his sword points towards the big villain. <gasps> Whoa! Yeah. Wow! Look at that. Yeah. Big brain, huh?、Mm-hmm. Man, I would never think of that with my art. I like the triangle stance of our warrior too. Oh, it's so sturdy and strong. Triangles、yeah. are known for being sturdy and strong Tri- for shape language. That's what they say、language. about triangles. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> that's. <laughs> Um, yeah, so your main takeaway is the whole thing with areas of focus.、Mm-hmm. I actually love that. That is like a big theme that I am noticing here. Ooh, with,、um, with all of these, that one is cool. Yeah, there's. I mean, there's so much amazing artwork here that we could pour over. I think.、Um, I th- I I really like that as well, and that is something that I would love to think about in my own artwork a lot more. But the thing that oh man, I don't even. Know exactly what I could say about these animals, but there's just some a quality of these with, and maybe it is focus,、mm-hmm. but even more so, it might it might be the composition of them. Something about just the, it, which is in and of itself a a thing of focus, right? Yeah, that's true. One thing I would really love to do. And practice a lot more. And something that I think requires more mastery than I currently have is focusing detail in specific areas and leaving other things a lot more unfinished. Yeah, that is just something that I have not been able to accomplish very successfully. No, I was consciously thinking about that the other day when I was tr- starting to work on a portrait. Like, what if I, you know, very consciously. Am kind of making sure everything's a little bit blurry except for the eye here, which is something that Ahmed Alduri just recently went over in part of his course that I don't think you've seen yet. I have not, no.、Um, and he does go into a little bit more detail on that, specifically with the face. Oh, that looks nice. I like that. Oh, I like that. I、uh, I do like this one a lot. Yeah, that is something that ah, man, it's just so hard to do. But I I really like the general conclusion that. Areas of focus are、um, something that we could try、something、to bring into our、yeah. own artwork a little more. Yeah. Ooh, look at the <laughs> face on this one. That's so lo- creepy. This dude's face. Oh gosh. It's <laughs> amazing. That's amazing. Ooh, pretty. Yeah. There's there's just so many amazing、wow. artworks here. Well, hey.、Wow. Um, unfortunately, there's no、um, social media links that we could find for、uh, Nim here. But、uh, you can find them on ArtStation here at this URL. We'll also include that down in the description、mm-hmm. for all of our artist adventure videos. We always do that. Click that subscribe button if you are new around here, and comment below with your ideas of what you pulled from Nim's artwork. And this is the part where we say goodbye. Goomba. What was your favorite artwork out of what we looked at? The crab. The crab. The crab. The crab was so good. The crab was so good. Why was the crab so good? What is it about that crab?、Mm, clean, simple. Clean, simple. One、beautiful, pure idea. Pure.、Mm. Pure crab. Pure crab. You know they say that eventually everything evolves into a crab. Do they? Who's they? Why do you talk to them? You should stop talking to them. I can't. I can't、mm. help it because one、crab. day I'm gonna be a crab. Oh god. <laughs>